Hey, I'm Joel Villafano. Today, a chef that needs no introduction, alongside his business partner, Inside our COVID Chronicles. I'm Khaled Mohammed. And I'm Alison Mayor Pascal, and we are both from the show group of companies, Show Restaurant, Show Cafe, and Show Cafe Beat. COVID-19 hit the restaurant industry like a ton of bricks. For the Show Restaurant Group, their first concern was their staff. To say we have been affected is, to put it mildly, I think the entire restaurant industry in Trinidad and Tobago has taken a hard hit from it was March to now. I mean, like the rest of the world, we're all just in this at this point in time. I think nobody realized or it didn't register that it was coming. The signs were there, but it didn't register. And, you know, our, our three restaurants have been significantly affected. Um, and the hardest part is our staff because, you know, some of them have been with us for so long. We have so many and the hard part about restaurants, you know, some other companies can keep going and stuff, you know, whether they reduce or could, you know, cut back somewhat. Restaurants are a day-to-day -day operation. You open, you make money. You don't open, you don't make money. After trying everything in the book to deal with the challenges of COVID-19, Chef Khaled and Allison decided to press pause. Since the lockdown, where we, we're only allowed to do curbside now, we, the three restaurants, have not, have not gone that way. Because before, it didn't make any sense for us. In, our, in the food that we do, it didn't seem to appeal to certainly show. Mm -hmm. shows, shows food would not work as a curbside type. You know, shows, so we'll sit down restaurant. Um, so yeah, so this time all, all three restaurants, we are not, we're not doing anything. Yeah. We decided to press pause yeah. for a little while. Yeah. Reassess because as we were talking about yeah. off camera, this is not ending next month, month after, you know. Yeah. I think the world is, we're trying to figure out, and I hate saying it, but you know, that new reality, that new normal. Looking back, Alison admitted they sensed something was coming, but never anticipated the severity. I remember the day of the press conference. We had actually taken a decision the week before to close the restaurants before the actual lockdown yeah. because we both felt very uncomfortable with the situation and we felt that we were putting our staff at yes. risk. It was so unknown at that point in time that we just, we were very, we were in the restaurant mm -hmm. all kitted out and we just felt an unease with the whole situation. I think the fast food restaurant probably brought that home a little more for yes. us yeah. because we were there. Viet. And yeah, and people were coming in, long lines. Yes. And yeah, lots of staff, yeah. everybody coming from all over the place and we're like, you know, is this irresponsible? Yes. So we did we did take that decision and we were in the process of about to rule it out and then the Prime Minister spoke. And it was basically we sat next to each other and said, Okay, that's it then. Yeah. You know, it kind of like hit like a ton of bricks. But still at that point, we did not realize that, you know, we are in whatever month we are in, right? how many months later, and we're still there, you know, and not sure where and when this is going to actually, you know. Well, I mean, it's worse now. Well, it's, yeah, it's worse now. But. Than how it was. The entire restaurant industry is in pain. It's heartbreaking. Huh? It's heartbreaking. I think there's no other word for it. I mean, both of us talk with several different people within the industry. So we have heard some of these stories, um, some of the realities, I think, is a better word for it. You know, in March, when we spoke to our staff, we said, we don't know what's happening. We don't know, we don't know anything. And the one thing we are going to try to promise is that we will keep our businesses going. We will have to do what we have to do, because there's a, you know, there's a reality to that but we will try our hardest not to close down. Can't guarantee anything. Nothing is off the table. Nothing is off the table. Because we don't know how long it's gonna last. Now, restauranteurs all over the world thinking reformat 
How do they evolve? The brainstorming sessions have been long and hard. I guess we're in a, it's in a constant process. Um, at the beginning, so in March into April, it was really when when are we reopening? When are we reopening? So it was it was that was on our brains and how will it be different? Now I guess reality is a little stronger and we realize we are thinking not just 2020 but we are thinking 2021 and hopefully not into that following year but we know we, we are looking at the stretch of 2021 and with our businesses at least a couple of them we do have to reformat completely because as we mentioned a little while ago like show cafe Vite, we base it on a specific model that we need to tweak um, when we look at show events, obviously events have taken a huge hit as, as much as the restaurant industry, if not more. Um, so that has to be looked at differently. So we really are in that pro process and that's why we're pressing pause, you know, so that we can kind of just not stress about the day to day of trying to deal with curbside and all the different restaurants and just trying it but just trying to plan and look forward and see how best show can evolve in this yeah. in this situation yeah that, that's it it's we've been trying to figure out i mean countless meetings conversations what about what about what about what about because yeah we, we 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 know that we have to evolve we have to change because mm -hmm. this is it's it's beyond next year you know it's beyond in terms of the change and what what you have to come with, what you have to do the reality with business too, or our business, I guess many others, is, you know, we can all talk about, yes, we have to evolve and change, but then there's a reality to it. There's a feasibility to it. There is, we are in this process of restaurants being closed, which means, yes. you know. No cash flow. No cash flow. The dynamic duo behind the show restaurant group advised the young restauranteurs to not give up, but warned there are tough decisions that lie ahead you have to say hold on you have to say hold on you have to say try but at the end of the, at the end of the day it's, it's it's what their business model is you know yeah. what they're if they're paying rent if they have a mortgage if they have a loan you know that and there's no business coming in so your first failure or your second failure whatever um it will always be your cheapest and do not hold on to something if it doesn't make sense because you're emotionally, your heart is connected to it. But in a time like this, after you do what you need to do, if it's still not making sense, then you need to make that decision. COVID Chronicles is brought to you by the National Gas Company at the forefront of energy.